We begin with three items from Mr. Cranky. No, somebody can write this every hour for the next century, and still, no. Travis Ishikawa's home run last night was not in the same category as Bobby Thompson's home run in 1951. Also, I will reward you for agreeing with me by bringing you the play-by-play -play of Bobby Thompson's home run, the play-by-play -play you have most likely not heard before. But first, to borrow the line from that Britney Spears defender, leave Mike Matheny alone. <laughs> Did he manage his Cardinals pitchers well in losing the National League Championship Series? No, but he managed better than they pitched. What was Michael Waka doing in in the bottom of the ninth in a tie game that you win or you go fishing when he hadn't pitched in 20 days, when he had pitched six times in relief in his big league life, when you have a closer named Trevor Rosenthal? He was in because Trevor Rosenthal stunk. And my friend Pat Neshack will tell you he stunk. And Randy Choate stunk, and Marco Gonzalez stunk, and Seth Maynard stunk, and Carlos Martinez looked kind of stinky. So in the very first moments of his offseason, when asked, in that situation, why didn't you use your closer, Trevor Rosenthal? And Mike Matheny answered, Mike Matheny was lying. Yeah, we can't, uh, can't bring him in in a tie game situation. We're on the road. Why was he lying? To protect Trevor Rosenthal, because Mike Matheny didn't trust Rosenthal, and because Mike Matheny is not a bad manager, he's a pretty good manager. And a pretty good manager takes the blame for his bad players. But the Cardinal bullpen lost that series, not Mike Matheny. Game two, cards up 4-3 in the ninth. In comes Rosenthal, implodes, gives up singles to Andrew Susak and Juan Perez. Juan Perez, who has 40 career hits, walks Joe Panic while pitches on the tying run. Rosenthal did not have one clean inning all postseason. Game three, cards tied 4-4 in the 10th. In comes Choate, implodes, walks Crawford, gives up as a single to Juan Perez, who now has 41 career hits, picks up Blanco's bunch with almost the same sidearm motion with which he pitches, tosses the ball into San Francisco Bay. Giants win. Game four, cards up 4-3 in the sixth. In comes Gonzalez, implodes, walks Juan Perez, who has 11 career walks, single to Crawford, bunt, Blanco squibs one to first, it's tied, panic grounds out, Giants are up, Manus comes in, Posey singles, it's 6-4. to four. Game five, cards up 3-2 in the eighth. Matheny's already squeezed an extra inning out of Adam Wainwright. In comes Nishak, implodes, Michael Norris homers, tie game. So the cards are still alive, tied 3-3 in the ninth. Sandoval, Pence, and Belt are due up, and you're Mike Matheny, and you're looking at your bullpen that has blown it four games in a row, and you're thinking, what, go with my closer? You don't have a closer. You don't have a setup man. You don't have a left-handed specialist. You've been playing Russian roulette for four games, and so far all you have is four holes in your head, and there's only one gun down there you haven't tried yet, so you pick that one up. At that point, it's either Michael Waka or pitching coach Derek Lilliquist. And boom goes the dynamite. Better to have Trevor Rosenthal give up that homer to Travis Ishikawa so that, you know, next year you have to get a new closer because then Rosenthal blew two of the four games in the NLCS. Leave Mike Matheny alone. And congratulations to Travis Ishikawa. Fantastic story of perseverance and grit and learning a new position late in life. And good for him. And no, this is not a new version of Bobby Thompson's shot heard around the world. The homers have four things in common only. They were the last hit by a team headed to the World Series. They were hit by Giants players. They were hit by guys playing out of position defensively. And they were home runs. The end. The 2014 Giants were up three games to one in the bottom of the ninth with the winning run at second with one out. And even if they didn't somehow score, they had the rest of game five, game six, and game seven to win just once. If Ishikawa bunts and Waka does a Randy Choate and slings it down the right field line, the Giants are still going to the World Series. The 1951 Giants were down 12 and a half games to the Dodgers on August 10th stormed back to force a special three-game playoff against the Dodgers. We're losing the last game 4-1, to one, then 4-2 to two in the ninth. Bobby Thompson hits a three-run homer to score the next to tying run, the tying run, and himself the winning run. If somebody doesn't drive in all three runs, they are done for the year, and the comeback was for nothing. All right, you've been swell letting Mr. Cranky go on and on like this. You deserve a treat. You've heard the winning call of the Thompson home run, right? Russ Hodges, the Giants win the battle, the Giants win the battle, the Giants win the battle. Most famous radio baseball play-by-play -play call ever. Have you ever heard the losing call? The Dodgers version? Red Barber. Just a little different. Back a pump. Delivers the curve pond and throws it deep down the left field.
By the way, Red Barber continues to say nothing for a total of 59 seconds. He just let the crowd roar, during which time some sports writer was preparing to ask Brooklyn's manager why he didn't use his closer either.